The most important job that I could do is give voice to the salmon to tell the journey. You live your life for four years at a time. You're born, you go downstream, then you see the ocean. But home always calls. It's like a button is switched inside them. I have to go home. I have to go home. I travel from the ocean to the river. I come here, home. I die. Others come along and they eat me. Everybody here eats, even the plant people. Salmon mean to me family. They do so much for us. It's just something you can't explain. You have to come and be a part of it and experience it. Even talking about it, my heart just gets like full of joy. The Adams River is a spectacular location for the salmon. It has produced millions upon millions upon millions of salmon over the years. When you come here during the Salute to the Sockeye, you'll see two of the species of Pacific salmon that use this river for spawning. We'll have the Chinook here in the river as well as the Sockeye. There are lots of little pathways and walkways through the park that you can access the river to. One of the main questions that people always tend to ask us is, well, how many salmon are here? I encourage people to not get hung up on the numbers, but enjoy what you're seeing. Enjoy the phenomena in nature that you're actually witnessing. They've traveled 4,000 kilometers in their life journey to come back to the river. And I think, I think that's what we have to appreciate is the fact that these fish have come home. They've made it. I think we should just, you know, go Wow, this is pretty spectacular. The sockeye presents to us understanding and acceptance. The only way that they can see their children become the next cycle is through their sacrifice. Not only a great natural event, but it also holds a teaching for our people. Knowing that, I ask everybody to come up and witness the Adams River sockeye run.